Look, I'm trying to relax. Been on the road a long time. Welcome, my friend. Might I ask, do you have a Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting someone of the uh, feminine persuasion. You're with our mutual friends, yes? Let's say I am. Of course. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new packages. So maintaining proper security here and preventing any unnecessary delays is crucial. Need some ammo a trader there? always has to move his merchandise sufficiently. Exactly. My current package has been in my possession far too long. I'm supposed to deliver the package to some place nearby, but raiders have complicated matters. So, if you could... Facilitate delivery. I can do that. It's scheduled to be a nighttime delivery, so if you could clear out the undesirables before dawn, we can do this tonight. See you soon. You there. Caravan or raider? I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. You there. Caravan or raider? Silent type, huh? Just don't cause any trouble. Let's play, little German!
Marta. What the hell was that? Everything looks clear. This is H222. H2, here's the person I talked to you about. Nice to meet you, H2. Another person actually happy to meet me. This'll take some getting used to. Remember what I told you, H2. I'll fire up the signal. And there. Time for me to go. Keep H2 safe. Someone will be here shortly. Easy there. Don't shoot. Bullseye, right? I heard about you. Walked the Freedom Trail, cleared out Switchboard. Glad you joined the team. Do you have a Geiger counter? Right you are. Mine is in the shop. All good? Now, let's take a look at our friend. Hey, you. You okay? A little rattled, but I've never been better. The other man, he said I shouldn't talk too much. He told you right, H2. You'll need a real name and a new face, but we'll get to that. Oh, listen. There's more than raiders behind me. I'm afraid we need a little more help. More raiders. Not a problem. You headquarter heavies mean business. We need to get to Ticonderoga's safe house, my home. A lot of sense fresh off the boat crashed there until we smuggled them out of the Commonwealth. Nice that you're willing to do that for us. Yeah, I'm working off sands from a misspent youth. I'll lead the way. Who's there? When you're done looting up, I'll be up ahead. Trooper noises! Aw oh, man, come back! I was having fun! <laughs> you safe, H2? We gotta keep moving. Hell, HQ sent back up tonight. Playing games with me, huh? No. What the hell is that? End of the line.
High rise. And we're here. All in the night's work for you agent types. Huh. Just part of the service. I think I'm gonna like you even more than Glory. If you ever need grub, bullets, or just a power nap, take the elevator up to Tycon. My house is yours. But right now, I need to take care of H2. Later. Hey, Carrington. Heavy's bloody traipsing around at all hours. I take it the H-222 situation has been resolved? Of course. But there's yet more to be done. Since the fall of the switchboard, we've ascertained the fate of all but two safe houses. I want you to check on Augusta. <laughs> I thought it was one of Tinker Tom's aliens. Aliens? I'll get it done. Details await at the dead drop. Have a care. Odds are very good you're walking into something nasty. Order. And they've come here to destroy Sims. Shit. Spread the word. The Brotherhood are our enemies. There's no possibility of peace. Tinker Tom will be spearheading a fail-safe plan to deal with this Brotherhood. Code name Red Glare. But for now, we monitor them and keep them clear of our operations. The focus remains on the Institute. You've all got jobs to do. Do them. Make sure you're never followed here. It's all our asses if you are. I suppose you're here for my medical services. Let's see what's wrong with you today. You're from one of those vaults? You got too many teeth to be a scam. One more hour till my ship. Desdemona. The importance of Bunker Hill and our asset there is not widely known. Please keep it that way. It's not an easy road you've chosen, but you're never alone in this. Hey. Allowing you to mistake to create complex robots. Wrong one to smash the Let's hope this beats the best.
wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need? I have the code. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you manage to get it decoded? The railroad helped me. Oh god, those kooks. I would have expected they'd be too busy trying to liberate vending machines, or setting computer terminals free, or... Sorry. They just have something of a reputation. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the simple explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station. That's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. I'm sure it'll work. For the record, I haven't made any promises. But if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay, can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. I got it covered. Good, good. Because you've got to make it in there. For both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. Pam needs you in her room. We're all the synths got. Do you need something? Can you take a look at these schematics? A scientist named Virgil said they could get me inside the Institute. So that's what the Courser chip was all about. You needed that frequency, I take it. Why? What does this machine do? The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. The Interceptor can hijack their signal and send me instead. We've spent dozens of years and too many good agents' lives only to discover not a goddamn thing. And now we have the answer, thanks to you. Teleportation. That the Institute could build something so... But we've got work to do. This is our top priority now. I want Tinker Tom to help you in any way possible to get this device built. I hope that you take that armored behemoth off on covert missions. Excuse me. Ready to hand over the plans? This is the big one. 
Do you think you can decipher them? I won't know until I get a look-see. Here you go. Let's see what we need. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who wrote this? Some kid with a crayon? Shit. Must have been a real big kid. Oh, man. Molecular transmission via encrypted RF waves. Those Institute eggheads are crazy. And you can divert the signal using a heavily modified relay interception. L like a pirate broadcast, you know? That's intense. Can you build it, Tom? The plans cover all the high-end egghead shit. But they're missing a ton of engineering detail. Filling in the gaps will take time. This bit here, the stabilized reflector platform, just needs some high-grade metal. Easy. By the time you finish that, I'll have the rest done. What's it gonna take to build it? We can scrounge up the platform components you need. No problem. But where to build it? It's gonna need some serious space. This baby's big. I know Pam was running numbers on a good site for a new safe house. It's got a workshop, good location, and the full blessings of her predictive algorithms. Once you set up the safe house, we'll drop off the materials there. Or you could build your own platform somewhere else. I guess. Your call. Pam wants to talk with you. She's in back. Uh, you got the platform built yet? Tick tock, tick tock. I'm waiting for the good news. You figure out the rest of the plans? Oh yeah, man. I squared away the signs with the engineering. We should be in business, but I want to run the numbers again just to be sure. You finished the platform? I did it. The platform's constructed. And I filled in the blanks on the blueprints. We can actually build this crazy thing. The science of this monstrosity is wow. But fortunate for us, the ingredient's pretty common. But there's three specialty items that I just can't grab from our safe houses. You find those, and we'll knock down the gates of hell. How's the interceptor actually work? Then let me impart some science to you. We got four main parts. Need a control console to input the code and process your biological information. No problem. Easy. Second up, a relay dish. That's the bit that intercepts the teleporter signal, man. A molecular beam emitter to, um, scramble your molecules up for the transmission. <coughs> mm -hmm. After that, just wire everything together on the same power grid, and boom! This thing's gonna suck up juice like a blood bug on a brownie. I'll get started. Yeah, the sooner the better. After you get the gettables, meet me at the bill site.
Is a powerful tool, allowing it in the simplest of mind. Status report. Got activity, dude. Let's hope this beacon will be the only piece we need to track down the mechanist. There's Demona. Status report. We got activity, Des. Not sure how long before it peaks. The Institute is a huge unknown. Before we can make any plans, you need to do something. What I'm about to tell you is the most closely guarded secret the railroad has. It's time you learn about Patriot. Patriot? There's a man, or woman, we're not sure, inside the Institute who helps since escape to freedom. Dozens of synths owe him their lives. We don't know his name, we've never had a way to contact him, so we gave him the code name, Patriot. If your plan works, and you're able to get inside the Institute, we need you to make contact. How can I contact him if you know nothing about him? Patriot devised a method to communicate with us one way. The plan hinges on us using this method to close the loop and contact him back. Okay. I'll do my best. Tom's encrypted a message for Patriot's eyes only. Once he sees it, he'll contact you. Until you make contact, and probably after, you need to stay in their good graces. You need to infiltrate them. Can you do that? Can you be our agent on the inside? Bring it on. You can do this. I believe in you. Stand on the platform and I'll give you the holotape. Just plug it into any Institute terminal and wait for the reply. Tom, talk to me. Booting up the scan sequence. This frequency is only going to work once. You know who doesn't make the same mistake twice. So stand still. You gotta lock in all those molecules of yours. Hopefully we won't miss any. There's only, you know, 60 trillion of them. All right, feeding our baby some juice. Let's see what she's got. Take this holotape. You need it to contact Patriot. Oh, man, uh, don't worry. That, that's all part of the plan. Tom, do whatever you can to gain their trust. Lie. Tell them what they want to hear. Make up a cover story and sell it. Come on, I think I got it. 
Establishing lock on the Institute signal. Just get all the information you can about synths, about the Institute's plans. Find their weaknesses. If we can disable or destroy the Institute, we may have to do it. You jack that holotape into any terminal, and Patriot will make contact. He has to. Got the R up! We got it! Find a way to save them. Nobody else can. Now! I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. <sighs> Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? Sean. It's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father! What's going on? What's happening? Sean. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! What do you want me to do, Sean? What can I do? I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Who is Father? Where is Father? he? Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Father? That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute, just as... as you mean to your son. To Sean. I'll make this very simple. 
Where is my son? He's here, in the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am your son. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human. DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Your mother... She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Sean, she loved you so much. I have no doubt. I'm afraid I have very little experience with those emotions. Having lived my life within the Institute, for many years I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. 
It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. But, Director? Why you? I was the most qualified for the position. Obviously. I've lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. After what I've seen, I pity the man. He was as much of a victim as anything. After what he did to you, I'm shocked you would be so generous. But yes, I understand you've experienced things. Perhaps you ended up knowing him better. I, for one, will never truly forgive him. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? You want me to stay here? In the Institute? Yes. That is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Things are pretty terrible up there. I've seen it myself. I know. That is why we are so committed to creating a better life for ourselves here. And it's a life that you can now be part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. It's an honor to have you here, sir. Almost done.
just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. <laughs> I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full gen it 3 must make roll you out. Proud. There we hey, go. Doc. They all weren't set. kidding. All Unit, really we return to duty. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. Plenty of things you won't find topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. I'm good for now. Thanks. Goodbye, then. Thanks again. Of course. Nothing to report, sir. We are honored to welcome you here. Father is more than just our leader. He is our creator. You know the protocol, sir. Operating Otherwise, at personnel full capacity. Only. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Well, you can tell him that I intend Reporting to speak status. to Father about these unannounced situations. Seriously thinking of heading over to robotics to knock You're some heads here. together. Why Glad you made it. They're dragging their feet on the targeting package upgrades We're I asked for. We're all looking forward Maybe to working with you. I should take some courses you. with me. You know, send a message. Mm. Please don't. There's enough Doctor, friction as it so, is between us and pretty much all are. the other departments. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? No problems here. Good to hear. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. If the synths want to be free, you should let them. Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. Very well. Scanning unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. <clears throat> Greetings, sir.
So you were there the day the bombs fell. That must have been terrifying. I wouldn't be here if not for your son. When are you going to tell me about this mysterious phase three? No, I can't talk about that. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Excuse me, doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. Don't worry. I promise I won't get in your way. Thank you. I do appreciate that. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a Courser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. All right. Yes? Huh? Is it true Food Supplement 77 has been discontinued? That is correct. That was my favorite one. Have you had time to examine my latest reports on Batch 274? Not yet. I've been reviewing Father's plans to... Excuse me, Doctor. I wonder how the Warwick family Welcome. is doing. So good to have you Young here. Wally must Dr. be close Clayton to 10 years Holden, old by now. Head of the bioscience It's remarkable that any child can survive for I can't wait for you to see so the work long. we're doing. Don't you think? It's truly amazing. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the bioscience division specializes in fields of studies such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Seems like there's nothing you guys can't do. With hard work and ingenuity, any challenge can be overcome. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure how well I'll fit in, but I'd like to give it a try. Great. I was hoping you'd say that. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. I'm good for now. Thanks. Take care, then.
Liam's been trying to teach me robotics. It's more complicated than I thought. Rosalind is as smart as she is beautiful. I, I just wish I could get her to notice me. I hear we're about to get a new food supplement. I can't express how truly humbling it is Remember to stand Remember to keep presence. unnecessary power consumption to a minimum. Don't recharge unless the primary level is below two percent. Also, the diamond patches and navigation software. For now, you can resume your duties. Dr. Watson can be a little obsessive when it comes to rules and policies. Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? You've got technology here that I never dreamed possible. It's amazing. I'm glad you can appreciate what we've accomplished. None of it has been easy. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be... dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. If the synths are intelligent and self-aware, then they have a right to free will. However closely they may approximate human behavior, they are still... our creations. When you see what I have to show you, I think you'll agree that we know what is best for our synths. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. Who erased his memories? And why? Those idealistic radicals who call themselves the Railroad are behind it. We'll deal with them in time. But right now, the priority is to reclaim that synth before more harm is done. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger. 
and a delay could cost lives. You should have given up. Is that it? Nothing's gonna save you now. I was hoping for a challenge. Guess I'll keep hoping.
gonna pay for that. What the hell happened? Damn. I really wanted that kill. You must be the courser I'm supposed to meet. Yes, sir. Designation X688. I've already neutralized the perimeter guard. Just give the word, and we can start the assault on the main flotilla. All right, let's go. Right behind you, sir. My orders are to help you capture the synth in the Britalia. I'll be waiting there when you're ready. My orders are to help you capture the synth in the Britalia. I'll be waiting there when you're ready. It's over with. There's someone else here. Thought I heard something move. I know you're 
Target spotted. Threat eliminated. I think we're being shadowed. Damn. I do not like this. Need to hide. It'll all be over soon. There's nothing. Nothing. Time, Boogeyman.
Got it.
Hold up a moment, sir. There's something important I need to tell you. I'm listening. I'm going to give you B-592's reset code. If he hears the code phrase, it'll reset his cognitive processes and make him docile. You'll need to say, B-592, initialize factory reset, followed by the authorization code, Gamma-71 Epsilon. Once he's shut down, I can transport him safely back to the Institute. Good. I'd like to avoid any unnecessary violence. Well, he might not be alone up there. Violence might be inevitable. That's all, sir. Ready when you are. There we go. Well Judging done. by your gear, Very I'm gonna impressive. guess you two are agents of Just the Institute. Just like me. Sir, you made it to the top. Is the Institute so desperate for resources that it's stealing plunder from honest, hard-working Commonwealth gangs? B-592, initialize factory reset. Authorization Gamma-71 Epsilon. What? Are you okay? Gabriel, can you hear me? Shit, they did something to him! They shouldn't take long. Oh. For that. Don't forget to check your ammo level. Nice work, sir. I'll take the synth back. This is X688. Ready to relay with reclaim synth B592. Pardon me. A clean and healthy work environment is essential to maximum productivity. I'm glad to see you return safely. I know the task was difficult, but I needed you to see firsthand how dangerous a rogue synth can be. Gabriel and his gang were sick bastards, hanging their victims up like trophies. I'm just glad it's over. While we can do nothing for Gabriel's victims, we can at least take comfort in the knowledge that the threat has been removed. But enough about that. The task is done, and you've returned our synth safely to us. I couldn't have hoped for a better outcome. Uh, well done. While you were away, I had quarters prepared for you. You'll find all the basic necessities, as well as a generous stock of arms and equipment. Go and have a look. I think you'll be quite pleased.
Sir, we've had another situation. A code red. What? This is the third time in two weeks. This is unacceptable. How can this happen? We think there was a system glitch. We're looking into it. Damn it, you're all useless. I'll figure out what happened. And in the meantime, tell the others to be on high alert. I want more patrols and more rounds. Your new quarters are here, sir. sir. If you see anything even remotely suspicious, report it immediately. This absolutely cannot happen again. When you're finished Not here, yes, sir, sir. father wants to see you. A successful mission on all counts, sir. From what I hear, that rogue sent at Libertalia was a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs. Father, tell me, what would you do when someone has stolen from you? I'd try and talk it out, see if things can be resolved peacefully. An admirable goal. And yet we find ourselves in a situation where something more significant must be done. The group that calls themselves the Railroad have acquired several synths from the Institute. Synths that had gone missing in recent months. And they no doubt mean to free these synths in their delusion that synths are somehow sentient beings. You've been in contact with the Railroad, so you're aware of their misguided beliefs. They mean well. They're only doing what they think is right. You dealt with Libertalia. That's the result of their selfish, short-sighted plan. Usually they are a minor nuisance, but lately they have become more emboldened. I'm afraid we've reached the point where a response is necessary. We have learned the current location of these synths, and need to reacquire them before the railroad can hide them. Sounds pretty simple. Hopefully, yes. But it's important that we act on this soon, before the railroad has any indication we've tracked them. We also don't want the Brotherhood of Steel getting wind of the presence of the synths. That would only complicate matters. I'll act quickly. You can count on me. You'll have a contact waiting for you just outside Bunker Hill. Good luck. <laughs> 